it's finally happened. A fighter plane piloted by artificial intelligence has fought against a human pilot. Yet, unlike previous attempts, this wasn't done in a simulator. This was a real dogfight involving two highly maneuverable F-16 fighter jets in the sky. We'll dive into the details of this groundbreaking dogfight in just a moment. But first, we have to ask ourselves, is AI taking over? This event marks a significant milestone not just for military technology, but for AI's integration into crucial roles across various sectors. In the past year alone, we've seen artificial intelligence programs like ChatGPT emerge from seemingly nowhere. At first, these programs appeared simple, helping you write better emails, summarize complex topics, or even compose poetry. However, their evolution has been rapid and profound, impacting more significant areas of our lives. AI's role is expanding beyond assisting with mundane tasks to undertaking jobs that were once thought uniquely human, like dogfighting. As we explore what this dogfight means for the future of the Air Force, and possibly for pilots, we'll also take a look at why the F-16 was the perfect jet for these trials, which government agency is behind these efforts, and why, like it or not, AI is here to stay. Pilotphotog.com During the past few years, in a program known as the Alpha Dog Flight Trials, an AI program was fed data from actual dogfights that have occurred between humans from exercises like Red Flag and used them to build a database of moves and counter moves. This dogfight data was then used by the AI to identify patterns, make decisions, and build its own set of moves. This is sort of like what chess programs such as Big Blue do. As the AI was fed more data, it would learn more moves and counter moves. This process is known as machine learning. So in the simulator, how did the AI do against human opponents? Well, it went undefeated. Now, dogfighting in a simulator is one thing, but there's nothing quite like practicing it in the skies for real. To put the AI to the test, the Air Combat Evolution Program began using a highly modified F-16 known as the X-62 Variable In-Flight Simulator Test Aircraft, or VISTA. Not to be confused with an old Windows operating system, this jet actually works and flies. The VISTA can be flown by two pilots. And at first, the AI program would take control of the jet during certain parts of flights, with the human pilots on board to step in if things got out of control. What we've just learned is that between December of 2022 through September of last year, a total of 21 test flights were flown in the skies above Edwards Air Force Base in California. With each successive flight, the AI was given more and more control. At first, the AI was allowed to fly defensive maneuvers only. Then, offensive maneuvers were allowed. Until finally, nose-to-nose -nose or high-aspect engagements were flown and fought. During these dogfights, the two jets came within 2,000 feet of one another, which is very close when they're both traveling at hundreds of miles an hour. And speaking of speed, the jets clocked in at combined speeds of 1,200 miles per hour. At those speeds, there really isn't much room for error. Now, to make things even in these trials for both the human pilot and the AI, the F-16 was used, the Vista for the AI and a regular F-16 for the human pilot. The choice of an F-16 as a testbed for this AI fighter is a fitting one in many ways. The F-16, which turned 50 this year, was the first production jet to use fly-by-wire controls. This meant that the pilot would move the stick and the jet's onboard computers would figure out the best combination of command inputs to get the jet to do what the pilot wanted. In other words, the pilot does not directly control the jet. It tells the jet what it wants to do, and the jet figures out the exact combination of control inputs. You can almost think of this as a proto-AI model. In the case of the F-16, this fly-by-wire tech was needed because the airplane was designed to be intentionally unstable. What makes the F-16 so maneuverable is that the jet is unbalanced, requiring constant adjustments just to keep it in the sky. 
So many adjustments that a human pilot couldn't keep up, and even if they could, all their effort would be in just keeping the airplane level. Today, many modern airplanes, including airliners, use some form of fly-by-wire technology. Getting back to the F-16, aside from being the first fully fly-by-wire production aircraft, it was also designed to take nine Gs. G-forces, or gravitational forces, measure the impact of acceleration and deceleration relative to gravity on a body or object. When an aircraft like a 9G capable fighter performs these intense maneuvers, the pilot and the aircraft experience forces nine times that of normal gravity. So a pilot weighing 150 pounds would feel 1,350 pounds of force on them. This, of course, can lead to significant physical strain on pilots, causing symptoms like difficulty breathing, vision problems, and even unconsciousness or G-lock. Because of this, pilots have to undergo and maintain rigorous training to handle these conditions. As a result, the physical strains placed on fighter pilots are enormous, and most pilots cannot pull 9G maneuvers for long. It's just not humanly possible. For this reason, 9G maneuvers are often brief so that the pilot can maintain consciousness during a fight. Now, when it comes to the F-16, some engineers estimate that the jet is only using about 40% of its capabilities. Basically, the jet has been intentionally limited as to not incapacitate the pilot. If the pilot were removed and replaced with AI, then you can get rid of the life support systems, the ejection seat, and even reduce the canopy making the jet even more maneuverable. You can now start to see why AI fighter planes or drones can become very dangerous in the battlefield. So who or what is behind this AI fighter revolution? It turns out it's a government agency that's been around since the 1950s, known today as the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, when they started out, they didn't have the defense part in their name, so they were originally known as just ARPA. The agency was created in 1958 by then President Eisenhower as a direct response to the Soviet launch of Sputnik, the world's first man-made satellite. It's hard to understand the impact DARPA has had on not just the military, but all of us. Today, we use so many things in our daily lives without realizing that DARPA played a role in it. But don't take my word for it. The world-famous publication, The Economist, probably said it best. They called DARPA the agency that shaped the modern world, with technologies like weather satellites, GPS, drones, stealth technology, voice interfaces, the personal computer, and the internet on the list of innovations for which DARPA can claim at least partial credit. In fact, DARPA's track record of success has led many governments around the world to launch similar research and development agencies. Now, what that means for us is that if DARPA is involved with something, or better yet, by the time you and I find out about it, it's legitimate and likely a game changer. As we wrap up today's exploration of AI in modern aerial combat, it's clear that the integration of artificial intelligence into fighter jets especially the iconic F-16, is not just a glimpse into the future of military aviation, but a revolutionary shift that's happening right now. The successful dogfight between AI and human pilots above Edwards Air Force Base serve as a powerful demonstration of how far AI has evolved. From assisting simple tasks to performing complex, high-speed combat maneuvers that push the very limits of human capabilities and aircraft design. As far as who won the AI dogfights, well, we don't know yet. What we do know, however, is that the VISA had both human pilots on board to intervene in case something went wrong, but it looks like they didn't have to at any point. This isn't just about technology surpassing human skills like a controlled test. It's about redefining the boundaries of what's possible in aerial warfare. The F-16 VISTA's adaptation for AI showcases a potential future where fighter jets could be more maneuverable and potentially more effective, unencumbered by the physical limitations of human pilots. This scenario brings up a critical question about the role of human pilots and the future of air combat training and strategy. 
Also, DARPA's involvement underscores the significance of these advancements. As a trailblazer in technology, DARPA's push into AI-powered combat aircraft could signal a new era in defense technology, one that could see AI taking on increasingly critical and dangerous roles in national security. So as we consider the implications of these developments, we must also think about the ethical, strategic, and operational dimensions of AI in combat. The prospect of AI fighters is exciting, but also a little terrifying. It challenges us to rethink the frameworks of warfare, the safety protocols in high-stakes environments, and the legal and ethical guidelines under which we all operate. In my opinion, you'll always want a human directly involved in the decision chain. Technology can and will fail, be jammed, or just be unpredictable sometimes. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into one of the most fascinating advancements in military technology. As AI continues to evolve, so too will its impact on the way we view and conduct warfare. Keep watching and stay tuned for more insights on where technology meets combat. And along the way, I'll help visualize things with animations that you'll only see on this channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest content. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies because the future is closer than it appears. This is Tog. And now you know. Bonus! Get this cool airplane warning mug. Link in the description or QR code on screen. F-16 Vista not included with purchase. PilotPhotog.com